Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Monica Mariyama where I make videos about anything and everything. Usually it's about uni because I just moved to uni two weeks ago. I know it's taken me a long time to get around to this video, but I just wanted to make sure my room was perfect. And as you can see behind me, this is what I was waiting for. I did an order with free prints, which is where you can get 45 prints free a month if you only pay for postage. And I was waiting for my pictures to come in so that my room would be finished. And now I am filming the room tour. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys along with me for it. So this is my door. And as soon as you walk in, there's a radiator right next to it. So I'm gonna turn around and pretend like you're walking in. This is the first thing you see when you walk into my room. I've got a single bed, I believe. And I got this, um, what's it called? This duvet set in Primark for seven pounds, I believe. And the pillow was 250 from Wilco. Um, the pillows inside this pillowcase were two for four pounds in Wilco and my mum got me the two big ones at the back so I don't really know how much they cost. And this blanket was from Wilco, it was eight pounds but it was the best thing I ever bought because when I was still living at home and my bedding had already been packed up, this was my sheet at night and it's waffle textured so it is so comfortable to sleep in at night. And over here I have my bedside desk with my TV remote on it. And then I've got this nice um, little mini little carpet. I got it for I think seven pounds in IKEA. And then we come over to this side of the room where we have my three cute little plants. Um, they were 50p each, I believe. 50p each, and just in the corner of the room. They're fake, so yeah, they're fake. So even if I put them in the sun, it doesn't really mean anything um i have blinds do they go down wait i'm still figuring out how to get these blinds to move down so yeah there's my blinds there's people in these flats and i'm always scared like when i come out of the bathroom that they're going to be looking at me so um yeah i have these down the majority of the time this is the view from my room that's the big field behind our accommodation this is where loads of people hang out during the night time and it kind of gets annoying and on my windowsill is where i usually keep my camera stuff so my big tripod usually sits over here but it's over there in the bathroom because i'm about to use it to take some pictures and after shots and things and my small camera and my small um gorilla tripod is here as well but i don't really use this camera anymore i haven't used it in a couple months but i'm sure i'm going to be using it again that's the back for my tv like the stand for it but i haven't put it up yet um this is my tv and it's a as you can see from the box down here it's a 24 inch smart tv which means it has netflix youtube prime video and basically i can go into the app store and download anything so i downloaded spotify and disney plus from the app store so i can listen to music if i'm doing work or i can watch my marvel films on the tv screen if i need to as well and then we move over to my desk space so i was really really happy with my desk space so if you can see it is massive it pretty much stretches over across half of the wall of my room so yeah on my desk i have my textbooks so this one is for foundations of psychology which is a module i'm doing this one is for his historical and philosophical concepts in psychology i know the book says issue but that's what the textbook is for and these two are for research methods my um professor said to, to see which one out of the two that um our class enjoys and to pick from there and then i have my ipad on top of here some pineapple chocolates i baked this morning my Bluetooth headphones, which I use to edit when I go to the library at uni and I use their iMacs because my Apple headphones doesn't really work with them. I keep knife, fork and spoon in here because I usually eat my food in here. I don't really eat in the kitchen. Um, this is a speaker and I also have my Freshers Week bag as well. I should really do a TikTok on that. And then my pencil pot. I haven't really like done any revision or anything like that yet but I'm going to be doing some reading for the next week later on today, so I probably will be using that. And then here we have this, which has actually come in handy, so I know what day, 
what month all of that is my mcdonald's sauces for when i eat um this is a diffuser which is lavender and amber and it smells great this is my um clock it's on the clock this way turn it this way it tells you what temperature the room is turn it this way it's a timer and turn it this way it has an alarm set so depending on what way you turn it it like changes its use painkillers because i have hella migraines um these are like all my planners my spanish dictionary some envelopes um my travel diary two books i'm trying to read by jade bola as you guys probably know her as andrea jade so i'm trying to learn to read this book and figure out what my study skills and needs are before i really get into the nitty-gritty of uni i also have Endgame, which is the last book in the Noughts and Crosses series by Mallory Blackman. I haven't finished reading it yet, but I'm trying to. And on this side, I have some blank notebooks. Is this, yeah, this is from Freshers Week. Um, this is my main A4 planner right here. And these are all like some smaller planners. Document wallet. This is for punch buckets for my folder which i need to take out because i'm gonna sort out my uni folder today my bible a textbook oh no not a textbook like a regular book on entrepreneurship um this book apparently is really good i've heard about it on tiktok called they both die in the end so i got that book and these two are books i've read but i like to read this is my quarterly for church and then we go up here so on the second shelf we have three identical white boxes from Poundland. This one just has like my iPad box, my Apple Pencil box, my knitting needles, and the rest of it is like Spanish vocab and um, quiz like cards I made during GCSE and A level. This one is like my medicine box, so I'm gonna take it down for you. I can't really do this with one arm, but I'm gonna try. So in here, I have um, lateral flow test. I take them because it's freshers week. Well, it was freshers week, and everyone is out and about, so I just wanted to be safe. So I got some of those um, cotton buds. You'd be surprised how much I've used those. I got loads of cough medicine, thinking I was going to get really sick, like freshers flu and stuff, but I didn't. So yeah, I got lozenges. What else is in here? This is a charcoal peel off mask. So it's just like um, medicine and like care stuff. I've got a sewing kit because you never know. These are all my asthma pumps, my deodorant. This is for when my back and my legs start hurting me because I get really bad knee pain for some reason. This is also flu medicine, more um, asthma pumps. This is wax strips for my chinny chin chin because I got a little hairy there. Um, this is my allergy medicine here. Um, this is decongestant nasal spray. I need this in the morning because no matter what, like I feel like <sighs> I've got a dust allergy. So I think um, just like natural dust collecting at night makes my like nose like itch. But ever since I moved out and I got hypoallergenic pillows, I've been completely fine. So yeah, and I got contacts lenses solution, but I rarely wear my contacts. I wear them, I only wear them when I go to uni to be honest. And then that's heat pad for when I've got cramps. Or like, I try to put them other places. I'm sure really put them with them. And yeah, that's kind of the medicine like stuff in this box. This is the third box. It's got some snacks in it. And it's got my shopping bags and my knitting. So I've started knitting and here's my latest knitting project. I'm hoping to knit myself a blanket to put this one there instead of this one and put this one away for when it gets colder in the year so i'm just gonna put that back and then my favorite fed cup plant i was so excited to get this plant um it was six pounds in ikea and it was really great and i like where it is right now i was tempted not to put it there because of the boxes but it doesn't look that bad there so yeah then this box has my pill tablet thingy so i'm supposed to put my pills i have to take every day i have to take antihistamines paracetamol those type of things um i got this for my hand luggage for when i go to berlin in november and yes i will be vlogging that 
and I've got some tissues in here, some more knitting wool, and that's the plastic for the that's the plastic for the tissue paper. And then I've got spare glasses in here as well, just in case I lose the ones I'm wearing right now. And then right next to that box are two folders for my modules and my selfie like ring light. I had it over here, but it kind of made this area clutter. So I put it up here and I'm gonna use it when I make TikToks, etc. Otherwise, I'm not really gonna take it out. And I also need to take one of down one of these folders because obviously I'm starting uni work after I film this video. And then we come over here. That is my dirty clothes basket, soap for my dirty clothes, my empty hand luggage, and the bag that I take to uni with me most days. And then this is also my larger suitcase, but I only use it to bring stuff up. I don't really need it unless I'm doing a long haul trip, which I have no intentions of doing until next year, I think. So that's that. And then when you open my closet, this is what it looks like wow it looks messy but it isn't it's just that there's a lot of clothes in here so this is just yeah shoes are in there bags are in here my onesies there more bags and then my nightgown and my towels this is all my like important dresses bra underwear tops trousers dresses and then my pathfinder uniform as you can see with the pathfinder logo my pathfinder uniform is down there hi um they also have it's not a full length mirror but it's as full length as you're gonna get in like a uni room and i like to use this mirror when i'm like take videos or pictures before i leave out in the morning for uni and stuff like that this is what my what's it called my keychain looks like it's got an r in it my id badge for uni and my keys to get into my flat and then once i close the store i'm going to show you the bathroom because it's right behind here so i usually keep the bathroom door open but on the front of my bathroom door i have tote bags my jackets and then when you push open the door you have my bathroom so to your right you have hi you have my sink with my hand wash my toothbrushes i have multiple i don't know why toothpaste my face scrub and my face wash and then i have an empty bin here i just cleaned up this morning then toilet cleaner the scrub for the toilet two loofers there's a third one up there but i use the third one so i haven't put it back this is my shower i love it because you see that little there? turn it slightly turn it slightly to the left and you get the most piping hot shower ever this is a very nice shower i was so scared i was going to end up with a with a uni room that had a wet room so i'm very thankful to have this shower and it's very very nice and this last but not least my picture wall so i've got pictures from the last two years on this wall i don't really gonna show you too much of it because it has my friends places on it and i don't know if they want to be on youtube so i'm not gonna show you that but yeah guys this is my uni room i'm so excited to be here i love it so much and now that i've done my room tour i'm gonna be filming a lot more videos in here so i was really pushing I've been making loads of vlogs lately. You've seen like my last two videos have been a vlog because I haven't like set up my room the way I want it. So I haven't been filming in here. But now that I filmed my room tour, I can start filming in here and I will probably film my first uni room video. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow because I've only got one lecture tomorrow, but actually my lecture's online tomorrow. I probably film it today, can't lie. I probably will film it today. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, just a quick thing, I go to the University of Kingston and I'm studying psychology with sociology now. I switched it because I didn't really like the criminology module. And if you guys want to follow along with what it's like to go to a uni in London, um, Kingston University, my course, feel free to, like I said, comment, subscribe, ask any questions you have about Kingston University and I'll try and answer them and if I don't know the answer, I will find someone who does know the answer. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.